Hey guys, Kara Sivir here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Pokemon Z Crystal Volume 05 and Volume 06 from Pokemon Sun and Moon. So these are the final two sets of Z Crystals, and now that we're done with all of the type Z Crystals, we now move on to some of the Pokemon exclusive Z Crystals. And of course, like before, each set includes three Z Crystals. So, let's get started. To start, we'll look at Volume 05. Now, uh, like with my previous reviews of Z Crystals, going to make a note that I'm reviewing the Japanese versions of these crystals, so I'm going to be using the Japanese naming scheme. And just like for the Type-Z crystals, it was to add Z to the end of that type's name. In the case of Pokemon-specific Z crystals, the naming scheme goes to have the Pokemon's name, then Z at the end. So, this then includes Mew-Z, Eevee-Z, and Snorlax-Z. So first we have Mew-Z, which is a light pink color, like Mew's body. EVZ, which is a brownish color, matching up with Eevee. And Snorlax Z, which is a deep blue color, which matches Snorlax's fur. We can also demonstrate them with the Z ring in its roleplay mode. So, sing it on. It shows an image which is meant to depict Mew's tail. So, let's get a closer look at. Next is EVZ. Similarly, this one shows off Eevee's tail. Though, uh, sometimes it's hard to get in place, so... There we go. I'll just show you that one more time. And lastly is Snorlaxy, which, though hard to see, is supposed to depict an image of Snorlax's paw. I noticed that for uh, these Pokemon Civic Z crystals, the sounds they make are uh, the sounds that match up with those Pokemon's types. Next, we have Volume 06 which contains Decidueye Z, Incineroar Z, and Primarina Z. And these ones all match the same colors that were for their respective Type Z crystals, meaning they're the same shades of green, red, and blue respectively. So, i just skip to demonstrating them with the Z ring. For each of them, they depict an image of that Pokemon's face. Next is Cinnaroar Z. And lastly, Primarina Z. Now one odd thing to note is that on mine, the image of Primarina's head seems to be upside down. And I'm personally hoping that that is just a quality control error, and that this is just the case for mine and not others. And for the final part of the review, I'll demonstrate the Z crystals with their respective Z moves in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Starting with Mew Z move, Genesis Supernova. Thank you. 
one special thing to note about these Pokemon exclusive Z crystals is that for most of them, they actually add extra sounds to the Z moves to go along with the sounds from the games instead of just having lights and vibration. Next is Eevee Z move. Extreme Evo Boost. Next is Snorlax's Z move. Pulverizing Pancake. Next is Decidueye Z move. Sinister Arrow Raid. Next is Incineroar's Z-Move. Malicious Moonsault. And last but not least is Primarina Z move. Oceanic Operetta. And there we go. Overall, I'm impressed that Takara Tomi took the time to actually make some of these Pokemon exclusive Z crystals when they easily could decide to skip them. And I'm also impressed that they decided to give them a little bit extra by adding in some extra sounds. I think one of the most impressive ones here would be EVZ, since that adds in the respective sounds for all of the evolutions one by one in the order that they give EV its power. Or rather give EV their power. And it just is cool to have these extra sounds that also help to enhance the Z-moves alongside the lights and sounds that are perfectly timed. So, if you're still collecting Z-crystals and you want some extras besides just the type Z-crystals, I can definitely recommend picking these up. Though these are not the last of the Z-crystals, as there are three more that are widely available, though I will be skipping one since it only comes with a TV game that I wouldn't be able to use. But that does mean that I have one more review for Z-Crystals coming in the near future, so look forward to that. Anyway, 
Next time, I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Ryu Voyager and Deluxe Koguma and Oguma Voyager. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you knew you would like to see more, please subscribe. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.